Have you ever wondered how to customize things in Canva to make them fit your style? This was a question asked in a recent live stream and I was showing different photo editing apps within Canva. This tutorial will show you how to take a photo like this and transform it to this. We're going to start off on the Canva homepage. I'm going to grab an Instagram post because I have found that the square size works really well for the YouTube community tab. You're going to want to stick around to the end to see how you can give this image a little bit of movement too. For this look, I searched man in purple and sorted to the photos tab. You're going to want to choose an image that has a very clear background. I think I'm going to choose this one. Click the image and duplicate. What we need to do is remove the background, the top image, edit image, background remover. If you want to try this trick yourself, but you don't have access to it with your account, I'm going to leave a link for you to try Canva Pro for free in the description. After this processes, click apply. We're going to make sure that this one image is directly on top of the other. This is going to help the effect. And then we're going to shrink this top image. And that's so that later it doesn't take over the background. Next up, we're going to select both of these images together. Left click mouse and select. We are going to size these so that it covers the whole background. The only thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want this top image to not cover the background. So you wouldn't want to go like this and make it so large that both lines are outside of your canvas. Neither image is actually connected to the background. And what we're going to do is click this back image, click edit image. We're going to scroll down to filters. Click see all, scroll down for a street effect. You can change this to anything you want. You could do a grayscale, you could do a whimsical, you could do a dalliance, but I'm choosing this street effect. For most of these, if you double click the effect, you can change the intensity as well. And I'm just going to take it down just a little bit. And when I click out of it, it is now the background. A little later on, we're going to add a glow effect to him and we're probably going to have to shrink him when we do that and I'll show you why. For now, we're going to get all of our effects into place. You're going to go back to your elements tab and search for angel wings. When I was doing this, I just grabbed the very top ones. What we're going to do is size the wings and I'm just going to size these a little bit larger than the canvas. I'm going to align them right about here where I think it would look good and right click send to back. If you've not set that to the background, your wings are going to disappear. So if your wings disappear, you know that's what happened. Just click undo and you'll be able to fix that. We're going to take this. I'm going to get them to the size I want. Go back to the elements tab. And right below it is this Canva Pro image called Blue Angel Wings. And I think these are really, really beautiful. We're going to be using a bunch of different skills for this, including duplicating, flipping, and rotating. We're going to enlarge this to the size that we want. And I think that this would be good. And then I'm going to position it about where I think it should go, which is a little bit above that white wing. And then we're just going to right click and send it backwards. I'm going to need three more wings. So I'm going to duplicate this one once. It's now the same size as this one. That's why I didn't just choose this one. By duplicating the one that I've already sized, it makes it easier for you. And now I'm going to rotate the wing just a little bit. And I'm going to right click and send it to the back. At this point, I think that I need to move my wings up just a little bit. So what I'm doing is I clicked these white wings and I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to simply move the wings up. 
And now I need these wings on the other side. So I'm gonna duplicate this one, bring it over here, go up to flip, flip horizontally. That looks great. And right click, send to back. Duplicate. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's rotate it a little bit. Send it to the back. I think this one needs to go down a little bit, so I'm gonna use the arrows on my keyboard to get it better positioned. And I think that this one right here might need to come out a little bit. And I think that looks fantastic. We are gonna add some finishing touches to this image, along with the effect at the end that's gonna make it move. I might want these wings a little bit bigger, so I wanna give it a little more polish. So what we're gonna do is search for grid. It's still on the Photos tab, so we want to move to All, and then select this one panel grid. We're gonna right click and send this one backwards. Click the grid, go up here to Transparency, and we're gonna reduce our transparency. And then we're gonna click on this and duplicate it and we're gonna slide that in the background. See, it just gives it a unique look. Technically, we could make this a little bit larger if we want, just to give it off to the side. All right, so one thing you're gonna do is lock your grid. So click the grid, click lock, lock twice so that it locks it completely, and then we'll pull this one in front and see what we think. I might duplicate it and put one of him on the other side. This is not what I had planned, but this is the benefit. Let's see. Let's send it to the back. And let's send this one all the way to the back. There we go. Oh, I like that look a lot. The final touch before we show how to make this image move is to add a glow effect. Sometimes making a glow effect makes the image take over the background when it's the size. We're gonna see if that happens and if it happens, I'll show you how to fix it. Edit image, we're gonna search for shadow and then down here is glow shadow and that's exactly what we want. Do you see how it is larger now than the canvas. And if I take these lines in, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna be right. It needs to be that size. So what we need to do instead, let's cancel this. We're actually going to make him smaller first. We're gonna click Edit Image, Shadow, Glow, let's see, there we go. Click the three dots, White, we're not even going to enlarge anything. We're just going to click apply and then let it happen. If you are finding value in today's Canva tutorial, please let me know by hitting the like button because it lets me know you want more lessons like this one. And now what we're going to do is make sure that our grids are locked, double lock, and then we're going to size this to be the same size. And that looks pretty Good, don't you think? We're gonna call this done. However, we need to add that image effect or it's not gonna move on your community tab. You're gonna click outside of it and click animate. At the top, there's some page animations and you just gonna click party. And it makes everything come in. Very cool. In order to have something move on your YouTube community tab, you're going to need to download it. Select Share, Download, choose your file type as GIF, and then download it. You might be wondering how to add a community post to your YouTube channel. Click into this video on your screen. If that's not your thing, look at the video that YouTube recommended for you that's on the left-hand side. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!